Today, we're looking at some of the fastest growing software companies in the world. And surprise, surprise, it's basically all agent companies. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the daily AI news you need in around five minutes. Every month, Ramp, which is a corporate card and bill pay platform, processes billions of dollars of business expenses and uses that information as a way to see what types of software is trending. One of the interesting stats they look at is which software vendors are the fastest growing. And when it comes to customer growth right now, it is all agent companies. Ramp's top five fastest growing software vendors for June 2025 were in this order, Google One, Anthropic, Descript, N8N, and Lindy. About Google, they write, Google One, a Google subscription targeting consumers, launched AI Pro and AI Ultra last month, driving new subscriptions and for the first time placing Google on our top vendors list. Google's Gemini model still lags OpenAI and Anthropic in business adoption according to our latest Ramp AI index, but placement on this list suggests businesses are starting to take advantage of Google's latest 2.5 Pro models, which are popular with coders. Now, of course, you are familiar with Anthropic. Descript, the reason that I think also counts as an agent company, is that their big push is basically to become like Cursor for Video. Their integrated AI tool is called Underlord, and it can do everything from auto-detecting ums and ahs and you knows and likes and other vocal tics to other more advanced agentic editing features. Maybe the most interesting, though, was that N8N and Lindy, which both offer some version of automated and agentic workflow builders, are in this top five as well. Of N8N, Ramp said, users tell us that N8N's greatest strength is its customizability, including the ability to add a human review step into agentic workflows, where of Lindy, they wrote, Users told us they use Lindy to take sales templates and customize them for individual leads to drive higher conversion rates. Now, of course, Ramp is going to be dealing with a particular slice of the business market. It's going to be more tech-forward organizations. And so perhaps it's not surprising that they are a little bit more attuned to these AI tools. But to see agent builders and automated workflow builders like N8N and Lindy appearing on this top five fastest growing is, I think, an indication that agents are not just something for the future, but are very, very real. Next up, Poor11 Labs choosing the absolute craziest news day ever to try to launch a new product. I have been wondering for some time when we were going to get a new 11 Labs model. We've been on the same version for so long that you guys have basically run me out of using it for Long Read Sunday, but... We now have 11 V3 Alpha, which they call their most expressive text-to-speech model ever. It supports more than 70 languages, multi-speaker dialogue, and also has a new feature called audio tags so you can say things like excited, sighs, laughing, whispers. And people's first impression of this is really positive. Hey Jessica, have you tried the new 11 V3? I just got it. The clarity is amazing. I can actually do whispers now, like this. Ooh, fancy. Check this out, I can do full Shakespeare now. To be or not to be, that is the question. Nice. Though I'm more excited about the laugh upgrade. Listen to this. <laughs> I'm super excited to use this new idea of kind of tags or metadata to give more information around how the output is supposed to sound. This gives so much more fine grain control. So I'm super excited to get in there and play around with it. Give Eleven Labs some love. Like I said, they launched into absolute chaos yesterday. Go check out the model. It's 80% off for June. Again, no sponsorship, no shell. I just like the company. Obviously, I use their tools for things like Long Read Sunday. So I'm excited to check out V3, and I think you should go check it out as well. Some funding and performance news. Cursor has apparently crossed the 500 million ARR mark, which is up 2.5x from March. Bloomberg writes that their latest round valued the company at $9.9 billion. Finally, one more startup that I'm excited to try that has a ton of buzz right now is Higgsfield. The company has gone from 0 to 11 million ARR in just eight weeks. And part of why its video generation tools are so popular is that they offer, once again, reminiscent of what we just saw with 11 Labs V3, the ability to control camera angles, to create consistent characters, and to use more cinematic shots, meaning that people are actually using it to go create ads right out of the gate. Higgsfield represents a new generation of startups that are not just thinking about model performance in general, but are actually building tooling for specific use cases to try to capture that application layer that we keep talking about. So again, if you are doing anything with video generation, go check out Higgsfield. You're going to be hearing a lot more about them if for no other reason than they are just rocketing right now when it comes to their business. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition. Next up, the main episode. <laughs> 